yeah, I call this water looks nasty. Take me to my pretty blue water. This doesn't look like an island. Take me back. <laughs> Welcome back to Galveston. Boo, boo, boo. Yuck, yuck, and more yuck. Take me back. I changed my mind. Good morning from Galveston. Cruise is over. Sad face emoji inserted right here. Cause they waiting for us to get off this shit. Leave us alone. Waiting like coaches. You don't want to get off the ship. Go away. <laughs> Wait like coaches. I'm in this here. <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Galveston. Welcome back to Galveston. Oh my God. Has it been a week already? I still got shit and stuff to do on this cruise. Oh my god. It is 7 15 in the morning, 7 30 maybe, I don't know. Been an amazing cruise. Getting ready to get our bags. Okay. Ready to take out the game. Ready to the gangway. It was out. They have heard the kick us off our amazing cruise. Tax guys a little bit of that money. Yeah, they ready for us. Just been thinking last week they was delayed for two hours and didn't get in so late. Why we couldn't get delayed for two hours? Why we gotta be on time this week? Why y'all do us like that, Captain? I was nice to you. I spoke when you said hi. I sang when you said sang. It's amazing how they perfectly align that up like that. Y'all see that? That's like perfectly aligned. Uh, I'm about to go grab some breakfast. I wish the burrito spot was open, but probably get a bowl of cereal and a banana from that yucky buffet. Trust is going to be light. I'll talk about more of that in my Q&A video. But y'all probably saw it by now, but yeah. I promise y'all, they mopped this deck last night, <laughs> I saw them. And now they mopping this deck again. Cleaning crew did their business this cruise. They literally mopped this deck last night, I saw them. I was out here watching them, they mopped it last night, mopping it. And I'm talking about late last night. <laughs> well, they hooking us on, what that mean? We start getting us ready. That bathroom, we had so much fun. It's been real. I had a good time with you. Bye bye, bye bye, ID. Thank Thanks for everything. So You're welcome. Bye, room 10274. Bye, bye ID. Bye. Best yeah. room story. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. They kicking us off now. They called our zone tag. This is it. This is it. This is it. All our fun up on that deck. This is it. This is it. They throwing us off, getting ready for the next group. We are ready to go. I was already looking at other cruises, getting home, books and stuff. Let's talk about that later. This time, a good time has come to the end. That's so see what this debarkation process looks like. Oh, shoot. 
be my patient. So if I look small, that 15. So far, y'all. Hi, doctor, doctor. Got a mask on. <laughs> we already, we broke What you talking about, Joey? Come on, y'all, this way, this way, this way. This no, way. no, come on. Thank you. Mask on. Just like that. We are off the ship. Alright, we are. It was fun. We are. That was fun, y'all. Let's do it again. You got that right. We definitely do it again. See y'all for Christmas! Woo! Just do our cake. And before eating our cake, this is way too many people going on here. Look at this, y'all. We're getting off. And we're getting on. This is a mess. My car, come on. This got too much going on right here. Seriously. This is a lot going on right here. We're getting on. Close getting on. We're out against the people. Literally. This part is enough. Come on, y'all. We gotta do better. This is not good. This is not. This is like this ain't stagger at all. This is like very inside. <laughs> yeah, this. I don't. I'm not feeling this at all. It's too many people mess with my anxiety for real, for real. Way too many folks. People getting out, coming on. It's more situation than done. The fishy off the ship. I don't know if I told her. We were carnival shuttle to the airport. I just uh, want to make sure. Bye. 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 Move my luggage. Bye. 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 And we're waiting. Car shuttle. Come get us. You would think with carnival transportation, it'd be a little bit faster. This is the bus to. Um, Bush Airport, and we're waiting for the hobby bus. They got us in this line. It's hot. They got us waiting in this long line of people. Ridiculous, and it's hot. I had a friend that was in the last cruise on the third, and she told me that the transition ship was kind of jacked up. But it's ridiculous. Like, why are we waiting in this line for? This is carnival transportation. So, try to do different and did common transportation. Hell, I should just did an Uber. It's hot. They got us on this long line waiting. And why? It's hot. Like, I didn't want to do Uber because it's a we had family of five. We got a lot of bags. We want to do Uber, but we waiting. And they messed up my luggage. I am calling as soon as I get home because my luggage has been messed up. Very disappointed my luggage is messed up very upset this morning. My bag, I literally, my luggage I just bought is broken. So, I bought that, but debarkation, we're outside. They're about to start their fun again, but it's hot. Cause I got, on, I got on clothes for traveling back to Chicago at night. We get to Chicago at around 8 p.m. tonight. So I got on clothes for that. I don't have on shorts. I have on leggings long leggings and t-shirt but it, this is ridiculous how it's out here this hot this but my view in the background is pretty cute and i give it that but wait did y'all see that mess that hot mess they had for debarkation outside the terminal i guess the 10 30 to 11 30 people checking in and we was coming out my anxiety was going through the roof y'all i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm starting to freak out that was ridiculous. It was too many folks right there. It wasn't cool. 
wasn't cool at all to have all of us like that getting off the ship and coming on. And see, now it's a little bit clear. Let me flip y'all around, hold on. See, now it's not that much of a traffic jam up in this right there, right there. It's not that much of a traffic jam. So if you would have staggered in your debarkation to make us in by 1030 and start the, all the embarkation at 11, we wouldn't have hit that traffic jam that was caught up right here. See, now it's like, that's people right here. See, it's staggered now. But when you saw us come out the ship, it was a mess. Confident you better stay staggering time, but that was not cool to have all this, another little small little space in this little terminal like that. Mm -mm. Definitely, ugh, because my anxiety was going through the roof. But now it's better. Y'all might have to the goddamn food and read it to two subscribers. Say y'all name. Hey, that's your turn. I'm Q with YLC. Go back to couple. Yeah. Let's go follow their channel, y'all. I'm so glad to meet y'all. I'm sorry not to the damn food, but we waiting for an hour and a half for this damn shuttle. It ain't here. Oh, yes. Bullshit. <laughs> y'all know I cuss on this goddamn channel. It's bullshit. Nice meeting y'all. Y'all have a good cruise. Okay, now on the air conditioned shuttle bus. Posted on John Hill page. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have probably went live for y'all, but I've got to say this. When my son I started getting sick, and the black pop on the ass is like, it's like, yeah, unacceptable. Unacceptable. And she just sick, so. A lot of jazz for me being extra, but I don't bet on my kids. I don't bet on my baby, so we on the bus. Posted to John Hill page, did help. Some people was complaining about he's across the seas, listen, John Hill. I know you better watch my blog, but posted on the page, help. Thank you for sending my cold water. And surprisingly, the bus got here faster. So, yeah, everybody talking crap. It worked. So, yeah, so we're on the shuttle. Honestly, in traffic is bad. I get that. Get this thigh out of control. But the people that works outside the terminal all need to be fired. They was rude, wasn't trying to help. And that was the biggest problem. Somebody off the ship to come help us out. That wasn't cool. Y'all out there working for Carnival, they should have been better with customer service. It was just horrible how it was acting. So we on our way to the airport. I'm grateful we got a five o'clock flight. Um, so yay that found a later flight. Um, but my baby boy doing good. That's all that matters. And we are about to just take this ride to the shuttle. But now again, we want to lift next time. To a subscribe, y'all can tell this. I'm out there acting like you know, plum food. We're ready to a subscribe. Oh, well, yeah, it's already made it to the airport, y'all, and everybody's very happy. <laughs> Thanks to GavinFilmNemo.com, we all made it. We all made it. Let's go. We made it. Now, we're gonna check in I'm back, y'all. So, more about this situation with the buses, okay? We're gonna talk about it. Y'all know Shelly from all things. Uh, she caught a shuttle before me, right? She said her bus broke down. They had no air on the bus. She said the people at the shuttle bus took her to the uh, arri arrivals instead of departures and made them walk from arrivals to departure with their bags. They didn't pull their bags from under the, um, under the, uh, what's the name her? Under the bus, they had to pull their own bags from the bus. Yeah, so listen. Our cruise, a lot of good, but this was by far the worst experience of our cruise. All my subscribers, if you ever cruise out of Galveston, do not repeat, do not use the freaking Carnival shuttle services. And here's the thing though, literally yesterday, I decided to book Carnival, right, sister? Hi. Yesterday, we decided, right, to book with Carnival. Yes, we did. We was gonna do Lyft. But when we came down here, we got a smaller kind of lift. So we're like, okay, let's just do this carnival. It's convenient. It's right there. We know they're going to have nice seats for us and room for our bag. Let's just go with carnival. We could have used like Galveston Express or Galveston Limo. There was a million other services we could have used, right? We decided to give our money to carnival. And guess what? It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap for us to use carnival. But... Hey, why not? That's Jewish Carnival. 
or the experience that we had, plus hearing what Shuddy had, was ridiculous. Um, I know I should have went live, but you know, when my baby got sick, I, I became a crazy mama, making sure he was okay. And when I saw the other lady that was sick, I became crazy. I just saw her pass in the airport, and she looks much better. I think she just was severely dehydrated. Um, but I gave her my umbrella to try to cool it off, make, try to get her water. They were just, my thing is, like I said earlier, maybe I didn't say it on camera, after 16 months of them being unemployed, you'd think they'd be a little bit more nicer to get our money. Again, I'm not talking about the people on the ship. <coughs> this is the people off the ship working with Convo. And then I had a girlfriend, one of my crew's family members, she cruised on Vista last week. She said, go get the same experience. A lady named Miranda was so rude, told us a bunch of rude crap. So it's not their first time going. Last week, maybe the first cruise, okay. Y'all do it again this week and on several buses. They kept saying traffic, traffic. Yes, it was traffic, but the traffic was not as bad as they was making out to be. It was not as bad as it had to be. So that's my little rant. Um, I'm pissed off. But we had an amazing cruise. We had an amazing cruise. And some more of that in my Q&A. But what I want to tell y'all, which I'm going to pass this camera over to my sister right now, let her tell about this. Y'all, she tell me what? Last night, she saw a world star fight. Of course, I miss it again. She got a little bit on camera, but... I may have added a notch. She sent it to me. I'm going to her tell y'all about this world star fight. Okay? Introducing sister. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened last night. So we was leaving, right, from the comedy show. So this little girl was sitting on the, on the step. And this lady had said that this other passenger, she had hit this woman's child. This little girl couldn't have been no more about 12 or 13. Rule number one, golden rule. Don't put your hands on somebody else's child. So... The lady was getting the lady that hit this woman's child. She was she was talking about some oh she wasn't going to jail and she knows straight trooper and her person that was traveling with her was telling her you know you're in international water that you can't go to jail. Well, there was such a big commotion y'all in the hallway that the little girl mother heard it as they was trying to get this woman that hit her to walk away. Well, it was too late then. Mom had caught up to her. And mom told her, did you put your hands on my child? And of course, the lady that had her daughter told her, yeah. She said, I saw her. When I tell y'all, she two-piece this once. <laughs> so, she two-piece biscuit this woman so fast, y'all, on this ship. I got some footage. I'm going to send it to sister so you guys can just get a glimpse of how it all started. But when I tell you she laid into this woman for putting her hands on her child, and it was this lady in the background talking about, it's not worth it. And she walked up and told her, she said, when somebody hits your child, you can come to me and tell me that it's not worth it. She said, but you don't put your hand on my child. Security, by the time they called security, it was over with the woman had a husband with her and everything. It was it was a show, y'all. But I'm going to send the photos to sister. But yes, I got to see it on the carnival this stop. <laughs> My ass missed two <laughs> fights on the ship. Oh, yeah, you guys. That wasn't a fight. That wasn't well, a fight. That was an argument. Fishbowl was just drunk. Well, <laughs> one and a half fights on the ship. Yeah, you missed that one. I could have got y'all some real live footage of a fight. You sure could. But the thing about she had went to the bathroom. We said, okay, since we met you upstairs, if I would wait on my sister when she came out the bathroom, I would have started fighting for y'all. So, this is the people involved on our floor. The, yeah, the people involved, that's the question too. The people that was involved involved was actually, they stayed on our floor. Let me tell y'all this. So after we go upstairs to our room, we only know, we see people like, let me in the room, we see a lady arguing with the door. Then we see security. At the time, we don't know what's going on because we didn't see the fight. She watching the fight video right now. We don't see the fight was going on. So by the time we get to our room, we like, we thought, I thought maybe it was a couple arguing because she was saying, I don't care, I don't care, I'm in the room. Turns out the people that was fighting was right across from our room. Security on our floor, we don't know what's going on until she come upstairs and said, but she was like, no, this rap. She said, y'all get down to five, it's a fight. So we run down the stairs, can't find her. She out there enjoying the fight. So she's like, meet you back in the room. Until we get to the room, we see the couple arguing. 
whatever, whatever. And that's how we figured out it was all connected. So, yeah, sorry I couldn't get y'all fight footage. But I heard it was juicy. It was good. It sure was. So, yeah. So, we had a whole lot going on the Vista. Um, what I might do is I'm going to try to somehow get my sister to maybe record her review about the ship and maybe send that video as a separate video. But um, me and my kids can write down all that good and bad about the cruise and since the whole overall experience of cruising during the pandemic. But what I will say is, will say this, if there's any newbie cruisers, any cruisers that's vaccinated are kind of a little bit scared because of the pandemic, now would be a good time to book your cruise, okay? I know people who had the shot and they may be scared to book the cruise because like, I don't know. Listen, with the ships being at limited capacity, that would be by far the best thing because I'm one of those people that, yeah, we're pretty back there, but I still don't like large crowds. That's why when, that's why, I hope y'all keep me with the announcements, but that's why when that crowd got in the terminal, where we was leaving out and people was coming on the ship, my anxiety got to, I started getting real anxiety because, okay, y'all vaccinated, but we too close, we too close. So it's just, it's just, so that's where my anxiety started picking up. So if you're one of those people who have anxiety about crowds and stuff like that, now be the time to book your cruise. Book that cruise. Don't be scared. Take your hand sanitizer. Okay. Take your stuff. Go on your goddamn cruise. Now is definitely the time to book your cruise. I keep like, I'm in a group chat with the, um, Edna from Edna's World, um, Shuddy from All, uh, All Things Us, at, um, Johnson's for Ali from Ali from Adventures. And we talking about the bus terminal stuff, so they keep talking. I'm trying to swipe the messages up. <laughs> we in that chat like da 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 because it was crazy. But anywho, yeah. So if you have anxiety about going on a cruise, book the cruise now. Book it now. Limited capacity, we by far the best thing about the cruise. It was, yeah. We we'll talk about that more later, but I'm just say right now. Do it now. Book a cruise. Book a cruise. Go on, get y'all cruise on. So they go back to full capacity, y'all. We gonna have y'all anxiety that was up, just yeah. saying. So go and put that cruise right now. Okay, now about the internet. Get it on the plane. Get in the first seat possible. You can just sit it and try to eat our lunch. It's a long day. Amazing cruise. Okay, y'all. Now it's time to get on the plane. Okay, y'all. So we are on the plane. Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm just going to my car. 